The Labour Movement celebrates the International Women's Day on Saturday with 2,000 union members and their family members. NTUC also unveiled the Happiness Poll, which surveyed 485 people in December. More than half of the respondents cited their families and children as a source of happiness. Besides family, good health and a wide support network were also found to be important factors for happiness. Four in five respondents said they are happy and 74% of the survey sample said their spouse played an active role in the family. Uh, Success of happiness comes from my family, uh, mainly my husband's support and uh, my parents and parents-in-law. Um, like for example, I really believe in parent support. I mean, if they are healthy enough, like my parents, um, during our work, during our normal working days, uh, we look up at six or sometimes six thirty. So in order to rush to the childcare and to pick them up at seven, uh, it will be quite difficult for us. So my parents will uh, go and fetch them so that we don't have to beat the clock. Yeah, and when they are sick, they will also help offer support to take care of them so that we don't have to um, take leave from work. On a scale of one to ten, ten being the happiest. How, how would you rate yourself? Me, is it? Yeah. 10 is the happiest. 10. 10? Yes. I'm very happy. Okay. I have a very supportive family. I work in a workplace which is that has this uh, work-life balance and friends. And I involve in a lot of outside work, I mean social, as well as helping out. So I'm very, very happy. Yes. The main thing is health, yes. I'm blessed to have a very supportive husband. <laughs> Besides work, I'm actually doing a lot of uh, show, uh, social, so-called helping out in the community. So without his support, I'm not able to do that because he'll be uh, helping me in terms of coaching the girls in their studies. The poll also found that financial concerns, work-related frustration and the lack of work-life balance were causes of unhappiness. To enable better working environments and employment opportunities for women, the NTUC Women's Development Secretariat will encourage more employers to implement flexible work arrangements. Um, again, if you look at um, what are those things that make them unhappy today, it's because they don't have a lot of support from the employers, especially in the areas of um, work-life balance. So I think we will have to really delve into exactly what we mean by work-life balance. See. If you look at the statistics, um, there are actually quite a good number of companies that already implemented some form of flexi work arrangement. But the percentage of the women benefiting is actually quite slim. And, um, and a lot of times, they don't have the support from the line managers. These are the people who will have to give you the approval and provide you the flexibility. So no point having a very broad policy of adopting flexible, uh, friendly practices. But yet at the end of the day, if you, you see that it's actually not practicing at the ground. So these will be some areas that you want to work with the employers and work with some of the um, choice employers who have already overcome some of the challenges and difficulties in ensuring that along the line, um, down in the managers and down in the employees, they totally actually embrace this and give the full support to the, to the, to the women. Are there any industries you're looking at? Uh, we will look at the industries where there is um, more highly dominated by the women. So we will start off with the services industry and we will see how some of the good practices can be actually translated to some of the better structured policies and we will use that to see and how we can promote and promote to other companies. But I think we want to do a, a lot of promotion uh, to really advise the companies how do you go into promoting flexible work. Um, in the event that it fails, then we will certainly look into how, whether there's any ways or any possibilities that we may also want to make some legislation possible to really enable the women to, have, to enjoy the flexibility in the work life. The NTUC Women's Development Secretariat organised a range of activities on Saturday, including a mass walk around Esplanade Park and holding a job employment preview with more than 800 vacancies from 10 employers like McDonald's and Resorts World Sentosa. The event was graced by special guests, NDUC Secretary General Lim Sui Se, Minister of State for Community Development, Youth and Sports Halima Yako, Minister of State for Finance and Transport Josephine Tio, and Mrs Yufu Yishun. For more on the labour movement's activities for the year 2012, check out our other clips.